One minute. Oh, Jesus. See you later. Buddy Young Jr. In 1956, Buddy Young Jr. had everything it takes to become America's favorite funny man. You were strong tonight. I know. I killed him. I murdered him. It wasn't even fair. A class act. You know, every night when you when you bring the fat lady up from the audience and you ram her in the ass with your head? Yeah? You're doing it wrong. Now! Perfect timing. Hey, lucky. And a family that fed him his funniest gags. My family was like uh, dances with juice. <laughs> All we had eats with his hands, spits when he talks, makes noise when he bends. Everybody loved him. Except this guy right over here. Look at this guy. This is what happens when cousins marry. Like him? I loved him. Oh, she's cute. Wow. I just can't imagine standing up there in front of all those strange people. It's the best feeling in the world. Today, he's as funny as he ever was. You just don't lose it when you got it like that. You still combing your hair with the Exxon Valdez? <laughs> Who was that? You could do an interview in the basketball players after the game, you know, in the locker room. You go, hey, you played a great game. Really, not only that, you're a very impressive young man. But a funny thing happened on the way to the top. You're a legend. You're a giant. You're the comics comic. Look, I'm not looking for a living hey. Good, because he's dead. Buddy Young Jr. got stuck in the middle. All right? You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Better work here. We'll lose the show. We're losing the show now. We're dying here. Sometimes it takes a lifetime to be an overnight success. Billy Crystal is. I sure don't like the sound of them drums. Well, he's not their regular drummer. Let's 